Happy Friday, everybody. How is everyone? Uh, hello, hello, hello. This is my weekly vlog. I hope everybody had a wonderful week. A wonderful week. Um, it's been an interesting one for me this week. Um, wow. In Vermont, they have what they call a renter's rebate. So at the end of the year, they take the amount of rent that you have paid all year long, and then you get 10% of that, right? But because I moved in November, they only base it on where you are living on December 31. So instead of getting the 900 and something dollars that I should have gotten, I got $69 because they only base it where you are living. So that means all the rent that I paid from January through October is like it doesn't even exist. And I was flabbergasted. Oh, well, there's nothing I can do about it. But man, you know, I was planning on getting a new laptop and all that. Well, that's okay. You know, that's life. Things happen. But man, I am just shocked. You know, that is just so shocking after you've paid in. How much did I pay in rent in that other place this year? I paid $9,530 in rent last year in the old place. As compared to $691 here, which is why I only got $69, 10%. Wow. At least I know next year I'll be getting a little bit more. <laughs> I, I'm still shocked. I can't believe I just got off the phone with the tax department. So, you know, I've told you about this inspection. We were going to have like a pre-inspection today be prior to the HUD um, inspection official one. And, you know, we all scrubbed. I mean, I scrubbed this apartment. I did all the floors. I did the bathroom. You know, they emphasized you've got to make sure everything is clean they came in, they took two measurements, and they left. I mean, did they even look at anything? <laughs> I guess they, they saw how clean it was, and it wasn't an issue. I guess, you know, they're just looking for obvious stuff. But, but that was kind of shocking, too. And I'm like, I spent hours cleaning this apartment just for this quick in and out? <laughs> All they did was they tested the uh, fire alarm. They did something in the bathroom. She measured the windows. I don't know what that was all about. It was just weird, you know, in and out. And my groceries came at the same time. <laughs> so my, my landlord knocks on the door, screaming, Gloria, Gloria. And it took me a minute to get to the door because I'm on the bed, you know, watching TikTok. I'm addicted to TikTok now. And um, <laughs> so she opens the door, and I've got like five, six bags of groceries out there. And she says, inspection first. <laughs> So they came in, ran out, and I undid all my groceries, and man, what a, what a day. I mean, it's been like a whole week in one day, it seems to me. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, Wednesday, I went to the doctor. Um, as most of you know, I've been dealing with sore throats and swollen glands, you know, basically for the past year or so, I've been having issues with my throat. Um I already knew that I had gastroesophageal reflux, but when I went to the ENT doctor, um, well, what started it all was that I went to the doctor about, you know, these constant sore throats and the swollen glands, and then they examined my neck and felt a nodule in my thyroid. So from there, they sent me to a surgeon at the hospital for, you know, for a referral, for a biopsy. And then I had to go through, um, I went through a biopsy with her and the results that came back were, what was it called? Insufficient amount of tissue. So they didn't get a good tissue, but they still sent it out to California. So my follow-up appointment, this surgeon here at the small hospital said, well, you know, we, you know, with all your symptoms and everything, I'm going to have to do surgery and take out your thyroid and this and that. And then apparently she called to the hospital 
And they said, no, 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 you don't have to do that. You know, refer her over to the ENT doctor, which she did. And that saved me from another another surgery that is not an unnecessary surgery because the ENT doctor took that biopsy in two seconds. They had to send that out too because it was atypical cells, but it came back normal. So, and like I've said in previous um, videos, you know, I've been through two two cancer scares in the past five years and I'm not going through it again. So from now on, all the biopsies are going to be done down at UVM. Actually, I think Burlington is n north from here. Oh, shoot. I never remember. <laughs> I am in, up in the northeastern kingdom of Vermont, and uh, Burlington is uh, the biggest city closest to me, and it's about 30 miles. So anyhow... I went to him on Wednesday, and he said, you know, just keep taking your medicine. It's just laryngeal reflux. Now it's going up all the way into your throat. And that's what's causing all of my, my raspiness that you can hear in my voice right now. When I'm singing, if I go to the lower notes, I really sound raspy. So it, I sound better if I sing, like, up in the soprano range. And so um, just I'm taking the omeprazole, but... Um, I don't know really what we can do about it. Um, maybe increase the omeprazole? I don't know. But um, anyhow, that's been my, my week this week of health and, and shock. <laughs> and um, I did sing a couple times this week. Um, I sang Wednesday night and I sang last night. Yeah, for a couple of hours each night. And then I recorded a couple more songs for my uh, song of the day. Right now, I'm up to March 20th of my song of the day. So I just basically sit down and I do like three or four songs all in a row. And then I just schedule them for the upcoming days so that I do have a little bit of content each day on my channel. I am now at 982 subscribers. I'm inching up to that 1,000. I'm just so, so happy about that. And I'm starting a new weight loss program today. Um, going to go back on. I'm not going to do it exactly like I did it last time. Um, plus, the last time I was working two days a week and I was losing weight easily because I was so active. Now I'm not that active. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out all sugar again like I did before. Um, and just see how that goes. And uh, I've been doing laps around the hallways a little bit to try to get some more exercise. But I've got to get the motivation to go back into my chair exercises. I've been meaning to, and I just, I don't know. I think it's just um, the pain in my throat all the time just kind of makes me tired. Um, but I really do need to get back into that because I really want to. Thankfully, I did not gain back all the weight that I had lost. Um, believe it or not, I'm only five foot tall. And I was 295 about two years ago. And that's when I really got serious. I was working two days a week. I wasn't having any bread or any sugar. I was having slim fast in the mornings and then just, you know, having salads and chicken for dinner. And so this time, you know, I'll be getting different menus from Meals on Wheels for lunch and then I went ahead and I got some air fried chicken fillets from the grocery store. I've got two bags of those. And I got some of the healthy choice meals that I enjoy eating for dinner. So I'm not usually a breakfast, lunch, and dinner person because I sleep so much during the day. Basically, I'll, I'll eat maybe when I get up and then, you know, a couple of hours later, I'll have a second meal. And we'll just see how that works out. Uh, I really do need to lose this weight. Um, it's not good for me health-wise health -wise and all that. I'm tired of being fat, and I'm sure you all can relate to that. It's <laughs> After a while, it's like I felt so good when I lost that 40 pounds. You know, I could bend over. I could, I could just do things much better, and so I just need to get back into that. I don't know where the motivation is. I've got to get the motivation. <laughs> you know how that goes sometimes.
So yeah, uh, Winnie's doing great. Um, I ordered a new vacuum cleaner. Um, I was going to go get my nails done and my eyebrows this month. And then, you know, after spending an hour with that crazy vacuum of mine, um, it's, you know, it's the rollers and it'll roll for a little while and then it'll stop. And it's not clogged or anything. So I think this vacuum cleaner has just about had it. So I'm ordering another lightweight vacuum cleaner, but it had good reviews on Amazon. And it said that it does pick up pet hair very well. So that'll be coming in on Tuesday. And I only spent about $60 on that. And I also ordered some new makeup for my Makeup Mondays. I also started an Ipsy uh, subscription, which is a makeup company, a beauty company, actually. And they send you... Um, different things every month. You can get makeup products, skin products, hair products, all kinds of stuff. And I enjoyed doing that way back when, when I could afford to. And now I can afford to again, so I'm going to do that. And that'll give me constant content for my Makeup Mondays. And so I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, so yeah, I've, I've been um, doing a lot of things and um, kind of keeping busy and just enjoying my life here. It's really cold here today. Oh, it's 31, so it's gone up. Last night it was like six degrees outside, and I was like, oh, my God, and the wind was coming through the windows. It was crazy. So, yeah, so that's really about it. Not much else happening. It's been a pretty um, happening couple of days around here <laughs> with the inspections and the uh, maintenance man was uh, shampooing the rugs and everything. And I was like, I wish I could borrow his shampooer because, you know, with cats, they like to upchuck. And I've got a few spots on this rug that um, really need to be shampooed. But anywho, just wanted to come on and say hi. Happy week. Happy Friday. I hope everybody is well. I am going to go lay down again because I'm in pain. I'm going to take some Tylenol, and um, I got some throat lozenges from the uh, grocery store. So everybody take care. That is my quick little weekly vlog. I love you all so much. Thank you for being a part of my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.